Greetings, everyone. Well, I was going to fix my hair, but uh, I thought, hey, the guy I just got a package from is kind of known for his strange hair, so we'll just leave it like this. Who am I talking about? None other than one of my good friends from Sweden, Disc Junkie. Let's see what he sent today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. So, I just wanted to show you, but... You know, um, put, uh, Nice little 3D boxes on there, it's quite nice. And then, uh, a little artistic rendition of himself, which was, I thought, quite, uh, quite accurate. So... Oh. <laughs> Such a cute little disc junkie. <laughs> now... I've been really curious to know what this is, because uh, he, he basically just sent me a very simple, quick request asking for my address that he wanted to send me something, and the, the custom sticker on here just says random present, so I don't even know what it is. But I've been really curious because Disc Junkie is kind of famed in our, you know, circle of DVD collectors and, and whatnot as being a guy who gets, like, some of the coolest editions of some of the best and or most obscure movies and whatnot out there and just has really interesting uh, taste in stuff and often you know tells us about things that maybe we never heard of but would be really cool to check out so box cutter activated I'm going to open this very carefully and uh, we'll see what what unknown treasures lay within So. Oh. Mm. Huh? I wanna see. You wanna see? Alright. Um, have to be very careful here. This appears to have been sealed with uh, orange electrician's tape. So I'm going to open it very carefully. And yes, by the way, I know I should probably just get a P.O. box because of all the stuff you guys want to send me all the time. I will one of these days. Um, it's just a matter of the expense of getting a P.O. box because it's a little, little on the pricey side. Oh, pretty! Oh, wow. This is, uh, this is very nice. I like it's Z paper. Pre pretty and trippy wrapping paper. So let's just uh, quickly skim here. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I'm not going to read the whole thing out loud because I think it would kind of spoil the surprise, or at least part of it. Um, so, let's, uh, I'm just going to take, there's a, see there's a, there's a letter on here, so I'm going to uh, take that off and I'll read it to you after. Stop reading it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's something. It smells like this junkie. <laughs> <laughs> now when I watch your videos, I, I can smell this. And, uh, and know that it you. smells like you. There's a couple of things in here. Ooh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh. What's that? I don't know. We'll just we'll set this aside for a moment here. Some kind of like weird box of some kind. We'll take a look at that in a moment. I just wanted to take a look at... <laughs> yes! Oh, oh my god! Cool. This is... this is amazing. This is the actual 
t-shirt that this junkie wore in his Five Awesome Studs Survivor audition. It's kind of ironic that you sent this to me right now. <laughs> Because about two days ago, I retired from the studs, as did several of us others, in a flurry of drama. But uh, no, this is excellent. This is ex this is a this is a piece of history from the good days, the good times. And uh, thank you very much. And oh, I smell yeah. this junkie. You want to smell this junkie? Okay, take a whiff. Awesome. I like your smell. You smell delicious. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's uh, that that's really truly awesome, and I will treasure that. I feel like you know I got a prop from some you know big movie there. <laughs> it's like no no amount of princely sums on eBay could ever possibly uh, you know be uh, give it any kind of real value. So we got uh, so first off we got we got lots of disc junkie stickers. Mm. Which uh, I assume you want me to plaster all over the world, <laughs> or at the very least on my binder. Let me see. And I stuff. It's it very, very uh, slick. Do you do you print these yourself, or do you have like a local place that you print them up at? I like how you did the logo where the D and the C are basically reverses of each other. It's very, very nice uh, font there. There you go. That's very, uh, very, very professional. Okay, so finally, let's see what we have here. Oh, Last Supper. Art documentary. Cool. Oh! Region free, DVD 9, PAL, aspect ratio. Yeah, we can watch this in the, the um, thingy. From the film form, the art, film, and video archive, the Swedish Film Institute. Okay. This is Last Supper, a film by Biggert and Bergstrom. I hate you. With the precision, precision. I've never heard of this. See, I told you he like. He, I hate he you. knows about the most obscure movies, and they're always like the coolest things you've never heard of. So I'll just read the back here. It says, "With the precision of a deftly wielded surgical tool, Last Supper explores the practice of granting prisoners on death row the right to choose a final meal to be set down before them in the hours before execution." Ooh. In a ri it's a ritualistic gesture of mercy that occurs with variations in an astonishing array of cultures, presenting startling, often macabre imagery with a cool formalism and making inventive use of a disquieting soundtrack. Biggert and Bergstrom delve into the histories of the practice and hear stories from prison guards and former prisoners in the United States, South Africa, Japan, and the Philippines. Particularly eloquent is a tough-looking Texan inmate turned chef who, in preparing last meals for over 200 death row prisoners, has had plenty of time to think about what it all means. Biggert and Bergstrom's attitude to the hypocrisy of the chivalrous gesture is unequivocal from the outset, but the wealth of Last Supper lore they've turned up makes it very clear that it's not just Texas that's under the knife, it's humanity. That sounds very, uh, interesting. Open it. I, yeah, I, I like, uh... I like documentaries about, I guess you could say, atypical subjects like that. They're always, always quite interesting. And I love how. See, now I understand the packaging. It's like oh, a, cool. it's like a, a dinner tray that you would get in prison. That is very cool. And it's like a, it's like a metal pack. So if we open that up, oh Moses. That is, look at this, look at this oh, book that comes with it. So we open it up, and we have this, uh, this beautiful book. And then of course the DVD with a bunch of different food items on it. And then, uh, so if we take a quick look at the book here. Um, oh, upside down. There we go. We've got all this stuff here. Look at that, eh? This is fantastic. That and oh my god, that's... Like I'm guessing after the execution, avoiding their bowels kind of thing. Wow. Can I see the book? Ew. <laughs> I'm assuming that's food items and not human body parts. 
Um, yes, there you go. Wow, well that's very cool. Thank you very much, Disc Junkie. We're, uh, both Anetta and I will really enjoy this. Um, again, you know, something I've never heard of, but very cool, and a testament to your eclectic and always interesting taste in, in films. Last Supper. Wow. Well, I get, I'll just quickly read the note here. Uh, Dear Dr. Z. <laughs> so, like, Dr. Zayas from Planet of the Apes. Dr. Zarnizrak. I've always found your videos to be incredibly entertaining, even when you ramble on about all those cartoons that nobody remembers. And I also believe that you inspire a lot of people to make their own videos. In reaction to this and to your epic wisdom about shaving, <laughs> I'm sending you a special thank you package. I know that they say the best packages are always the hard ones, meaning hard as in not soft, not hard as in awkward boner, <laughs> but never get, judge a gift by its first appearance. P.S. I know the size is way off, but I couldn't think of anyone else to send it to. Just think of it as an unwashed piece of YouTube history. D.S. Awesomely yours, Disc Junkie. Wow. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, I, I don't know what more I can say. Thank you very much. Uh, we're definitely yeah. we're definitely going to enjoy that documentary and uh, smelling your shirt whenever we watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again, Disc Junkie. And thanks to all of you for watching and joining us in this journey into the surreal. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for watching. I think I said that like six times now. And sayonara. Sayonara.